Bienvenidos a mi canal, yo me llamo Victor y esto es Japones para Idiotas. Hello everyone, you're probably wondering why is that handsome fella in the camera talking in Spanish? That's a good question, because this is Japanese for Mars, he should be speaking a little bit of Nihongo. Debe estar hablando es uh, Nihongo, I gotta switch gears. Nihongo hanas beki da yo, doste kare wa espengo hanashiteru en daro ne. It's hard to switch gears, you know. Anyway, the reason I'm speaking Spanish today is because, you know, I try to avoid that. I try to avoid that language completely because I'm not good at it anymore. You, know, you can tell, like, it's hard for me to switch uh, between the languages. I need a little practice, but anyway. It's because our guest sensei today is Fabita, Fabita Punk. Her real life name is Fabiola, but don't tell her I told you that. She's a fashion model, a model from Mexico, and she's gorgeous. And that's I know that's why a lot of you join this channel, you know, for, for, the, for the eye candy. So I thought I'd give you a little... Um, alter, alter gender, alternate gender eye candy today. And I have to tell you that um, there's a part of the video that the sound is cut for some strange reason, the video she sent me, but I'm just going to dub in my, my mouth, my voice, see if you can tell which part it is, because our voices are completely so similar, it's, it's amazing, it's uncanny really. But anyway, at the end of this video, I want you watch the video, that she's going to introduce a whole bunch of different um, styles, you know, um, and fashion is... Actually, I've come to grow, I've, I've grown to come, no, that doesn't make sense, I've grown to become, that's it, more uh, appreciative of fashion, um, because this year and last year, I taught a couple movies that have to do with fashion, so, and, you know, what was it called, Devil Wears Prada, for example, and I, and the, the making of uh, section, and I thought, you know, fashion is a lot more important, so, so I went out and got this very fashionable little nightwear here, morning wear, whatever, woohoo, <laughs> cleavage, okay, and, um, Anyway, so she's going to teach us a little bit about fashion. She's going to introduce some uh, fashionable things. And then you got to pick your favorite style at the end of the video. And I'm going to ask her to pick a winner. And from that person, that person that she picks is going to win a magazine that Fabita is going to recommend. So she likes, she likes fashion magazines in Japan. I'm going to ask her to pick a magazine and I'm going to send it to you. But just a couple caveats here, caveats. That means conditions for those of you who, not, you know, you're morons. I don't know if you know that word. The caveat is you must uh, be sub to her. I don't care if you sub to me. What do I care? All I want is your view. All I want is your view and your comment and your thumb. You gotta thumb up this video. Thumb up the video. You gotta you gotta subscribe to her and and leave any kind of comment you want. Okay, any kind of comment. It just give your opinion. Give your opinion of which style you like and why. And she will pick a winner. All right. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. The one thing I tell my guest sensei is, is please be sure to tell you guys to sub to her, but she didn't do that, so I'm going to tell you now. Go sub to her right now, and I'll see you in the next video. See you later, guys. Minasan, konnichiwa. Watashi wa Fabio desu. Hajimashite. Watashi wa. So I was kind of having problems trying to figure out how to do this video because I'm not a professional fashion guru. I'm just gonna show you how to work with clothes you already have and how to make it look like their style magazines. I like to check on magazines like Pop Sister or Pop Teen of the month and just check it for like a base and then try to figure out how to put clothes together and start work working from that. You just have to know the basic rules and then you can put it together. The preppy look is basically just trying to look like a schoolgirl, but in a wearable way. A lot of white t-shirts, waist, uh, skirts, high top socks, black shoes, bows, blazers and see-through glasses like wafers. Look is not complicated because 
is implied at the name, like we are trying to represent American old cowboy movies. A lot of jean fabric in almost everything, boots, square patterns, cowboy hats, belts with large uh, buckles, dresses, skirts, blouses with flower patterns. Marine look tried to represent the 40s, like those ladies who was waiting for the lovers on the port. Stripes, whites, blues, reds, and waist pants, waist shorts, long and oversized dresses, scarves, platform sandals, red lips. Rock look, which is my favorite because you can be more creative. Black is a rule, and red, blue, and also white. Metallic clothing, studs, combat boots, hats with better cut of leather, tights, skinnies, and animal print. The Bohemian is a simply look of basically a contemporary hippie look. Unfortunately, I don't have any clothes similar to that, to that look, so there are no examples for that. So just grab a magazine or look at the internet for scans from it and try to find looks you like and find something similar in your closet. Remember, you're not trying to copy the models on those magazines, you are just taking for a base. Make it look like Yarostel. Yarostel. What the heck? Shut up, dogs. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. What's up? What's up?